I can't even be bothered with this damn camera. Hi guys, it's the day after my birthday and we're gonna go eat some breakfast. I just remembered why I stopped using this camera. It has focusing issues. It also, something else, I don't know. Like, the, the battery started going bad. I have the other one set up here, but like, I can't be bothered to mess with the settings right now. Anyways, we're, we're about to go eat some food and like drop off our laundry. And I don't really know what else. I'm wearing this little shirt and the damn shirt is so young. I don't know if it's because we only send it to the laundromat, like it goes in the dryer or whatever. But I really do like this sweater and it's so, it's kind of young and it's kind of annoying because what the hell. But it doesn't matter. Oh. Wow. She said, girl, you ain't feeding me since last night. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so, so yeah, we're about to, we're about to go do that. I'm just lotioning my, the, I'm putting some oil on the top of my, of my foot because, um, oh. I always knew that I wanted a pair of these. A long time. I think I had a pair before, like a knockoff pair. But I always knew that I wanted the Uggs. Anyways, when the winter time was done, I never cared about it anymore. I'm like, whatever, the winter is gone, whatever, right? But um, I bought it and I received it the day before yesterday. And when I tell you it's the most comfortable thing in life, I mean, my other Uggs are comfortable as well. But this one is just easier. I'm like, it's not like going up all the way to like past your ankle or whatever you know and so you could wear you could wear it with other things and so i like it but it's so damn comfortable i should have bought this a long time ago everybody needs one quite literally it's too good i'm so damn out of breath and i'm starving so we're about to leave hi everybody happy saturday just popped out of the shower and um put a different set of pajamas on and I'm feeling really nice fresh and rejuvenated right last night I did a thing last night tonight and tomorrow night are supposed to be the last three nights on a girl's vacation obviously the birthday festivities and everything are still up bad angle <laughs> it's oh my goodness oh it's balloons on the floor in the living room and everything because I didn't even bother taking stuff down from my birthday. <sighs> everything is still in place. But um, last night I did a thing. I feel like I was home for five days and that in itself feels like a vacation. So I'm like, you know what? I'm really tired of being home. And so I called my job and I asked them, do they need anybody to work last night and tonight? They said yes. And I'm like, great. Put me on the schedule. Schedule a girl because I'm tired of being here inside of this apartment. So I went last night and last night was great. Really smooth night and I go back tonight and I'm praying that tonight is a smooth night too. And then I'm off Sunday night and then um, I go back Monday morning. I'm thinking that I might pick up Sunday night. If I do, I'm gonna work a six day stretch and that's the only thing, that is the only thing that's standing in the way of me picking up Sunday night or not. So I'm trying to figure that out within myself between now and tomorrow morning to see if I'm going to do that. And yeah, I think I might. I think I'm going to be fine if I do that. My next day off is just going to be on Thursday, which should be fine anyways, you know? I think I might do that. That should be good for me. And then, um, oh, but that wouldn't be for this week. But still, that would be fine. This is me um, thinking as I go along. But yeah, I'm here at home. Mr. is enjoying the last couple of days of his vacation as well because you know we have the vacation the same time i have a few appointments coming up this week that i don't know if i'm very thrilled for at all monday morning i have an appointment that is they said it might be long and that is kind of throwing me off however we have to go to be able to see if it's long or not so we're gonna do that and then um tuesday i have another appointment luckily the appointment tuesday is telehealth so that should be good. But honestly, I'm just home. The other day, um, after after all of the birthday, everything, I went to the nail salon and I got my nails done. I went to, with the intention to get French and I ended up leaving with this because I was already seeing that the lady was not 
operating the way that I liked. And I look forward to the massage at the end of, like, getting your nails done because you're sitting up so straight and everything. And she jacked that up. And I was, it was just, I was just so mad. She was literally just touching me like this. Like, no deep, oh. And Mr. was like, why don't you just tell her, like, please stop. And I'm just like, I'm. you should have seen my face the whole time. I'm so annoyed. And I'm just like, I still tipped her because obviously she did a service. But they could see that I was displeased with the service. Like, come on, be so for real. Because what are you doing? Y'all are sitting in here talking to each other. And these are the Chinese people. Y'all know I always say it. I mean, they talk to each other, just not to the customers as much. And the girl that was there that I really loved going to and that Jules would go to as well, she went back to China. So that's very unfortunate. So I have the same color on my nails and on my toes. And my toes were done really nicely. The pedicure was done really, really nicely. It's just that the way how she does your nails are not my favorite, especially in the cuticle area. I feel like she puts the acrylic too far down in the cuticle area. And I don't like that. So we're not going to be using her again. And she's somebody that I used before, but you know, it is what it is. Like, I'm not doing that again. Calling before, asking which day is the girl that I want to go to is there and when she is we're gonna use her because if it's one thing I'm gonna do is be pleased when I spend my money and I'm tipping you so there's that but um yeah I'm home it's 12 45 mister just left to go get a haircut and um I came home from work and I slept for about two hours and now I'm up because we were having pillow talk so now I'm up and I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to sleep for the rest of the afternoon. I mean, I am going to go right now and lay down in the bed and like watch some Netflix or something. Just so that, um, you know, if the sleep comes, it hits while I'm already in bed. Because I feel like when I have to transition, it's like, it's like babies. When you transition them, it's over. So if they fall asleep on the floor, it's like you kind of have to leave them there. If you want them to take that nap. And so I'm going to lay in the bed just in case. And, um, yeah, that's the plan for right now. You know what? Should I tell him to meet me so we could go to the grocery store when he comes back? I don't really feel like doing that right now. We could do that Monday. Okay, we'll do that Monday. Because honestly, I don't feel called to do that right now. Anyways, yeah. We're going to go watch some Netflix and lay in bed and chill out for a little bit. Until later on. So, I'll see you guys later or tomorrow or whenever. 